Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to recreate a spread by Crystal Idenite. Um, it's a Valentine's spread and I believe the kit she used was Ali Edwards. But as you can see here, I'm not going to use the Ali Edwards kit because I find kits shipped from the US are just too expensive. So actually what I've done is I have created my own kit. Um, I'm not selling this or anything like that, but I designed and printed and cut all my shapes and bits and pieces, my ephemera, using my silhouette cameo. So I'm going to just pop you into fast forward and we'll get straight into the creation of this design and I'll slow us back down again at the end. So I use Canva quite a lot when it comes to designing my, my own story kits, if you like. So here, for this particular spread, I used the shape of a heart in Canva, filled heart, the hearts with the colours that I wanted to use um, for this layout. Then I save it as a transparent background and copy it straight onto an A4 document and print it out. That's as simple as it as it is for me but like I said in the introduction I, I, I just don't find it cost effective to be buying from the US sadly I've really struggled to find a supplier in the UK that I like um, usually the kits are more based around scrapbookers you know 12 by 12 pages and it's been a while since I've done a 12 by 12 page it's not really my kind of scrapbooking anymore I much prefer these 6x8 layouts where the album doesn't take up too much room and they're easily accessible. But also I've come to prefer simple designs and simple layouts, which I think is why I like Crystal's style. I do like Ali Edwards style, it's just very simplistic and it allows for lots of room to journal about the memory that you're trying to document so it's not just about the photography or the embellishments it's it's about the story behind the memory so with my style of scrapbooking i like a lot of journaling i like to be able to tell a story whereas in previous 12 by 12 layouts that i have done it's only ever really been about highlighting the, the photography. I've been journaling since primary seven, since the age of 10 or 11, so I really enjoy the journaling aspect. So to add my own personal thoughts and experiences, it's just the highlight of the entire story, of the entire point of scrapbooking for me. So on this page, I typed up a few reasons as to why I love my partner. And down the left-hand side of it, um, down the left-hand side of each point, rather than kind of number them, I use these little circular words of sweetness. So I didn't want each word to kind of be directly aligned with one of the points. I just wanted it to be random. Um, again, I, I took this idea from Crystal. I really liked it, so I just went ahead and recreated it with my own little circles. I believe it's probably important for me to mention that I'm not selling my own kits. Um, I think that would perhaps be copyright or something. So this was, I just made these little circles and the bits and pieces for my own personal use. But I believe you can get the actual kit um, from Ali Edwards and I believe it's part of her Stories by the Month kits. Go check that out and I think it's, it's based around Valentine's Day so I'm not sure how her kits work, if they're only available for the month or if she sells spare kits or... You may have to go and check that out for yourself. Thankfully, um, my craft suppliers, heylittlemagpie.com, now stock a selection of L Studio products. So L Studio is definitely more my kind of current style. So 
that's always something. However, their stock is so limited, you're really lucky to get in in time and, and buy what it is you want. I'm forever ordering these products and then a couple of days later getting emails to say, oh, I'm sorry, that is no longer in stock, so we are refunding you for this item. That is no good. But that is the current situation in the UK at the moment. So shopping is not as fun as it used to be, sadly. What we really need in the UK is a Michaels. I fell in love with that store during my last trip to the US. I believe I call this page done and I'll move on to page two in just a moment. I like to tidy things up in between. Okay. So here I'm just using my photos that are already cut out into that square shape as a template for the, the heart paper that I spoke about earlier. So I want to create squares of this paper the exact same size as my photos. So one of the things that I enjoy about this spread are the colour combinations. So that kind of mustardy yellow is particularly popular just now. But I particularly like it with the red and the pale pink and the grey. Um, the colours really complement each other and really come together quite well. And once you see the end result of this layout, you'll see what I mean. The colours really just pop up from the page. I'm leaving a really narrow border down the left hand side of this page because I'm going to put this directly into my album. I'm just going to punch holes so that the album holds it rather than putting it in a page protector. Quite often before filming I like to have a rough, a rough idea of how I want to place things down because I do find this often takes up a lot of room in the filming. Um, but on this occasion, I just I was ready just to jump right into getting this layout done. Um, and I was willing to just go with the flow of how things worked out. And I'm glad I did. What I found when working with regular plain paper was that it's, it super likes to stick down <laughs> to things and it doesn't lift back off the page again too easily. So luckily I was able um, to resist tearing the cardstock that I'm gluing these squares down onto underneath because I do believe on a couple of occasions I had to try and lift off these heart squares um, but it was extra, extra tacky. Uh, <laughs> at least it'll be extra secure, that's for sure. <laughs> A layout built to last. <laughs> so once I have everything glued down to the page, I believe I start to embellish using the elements I designed especially for this layout. So a few of these larger hearts have little love excerpts on them, or quotes, which I have taken from some of my favourite movies. So Love is a Splendid Thing um, was from Moulin Rouge, and I loved the soundtrack in that movie. And if you want to know an interesting fact about me, I actually did Nicole Kidman's nails. Not for that movie, but for her role in The Railway Man. So that was quite an experience. Um, and this other quote, Love, Love is a Burning Flame, and that's actually from a song by... Oh, I'm a big fan and I can't remember his name suddenly. Johnny Cash. There we go. And the final quote there, The World Moves for Love is actually a line from another favourite movie of mine, The Village, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> no one could ever say his name properly. So yeah, those are a few of my favourite love quotes or lines 
um, or excerpts, whatever you want to call them. So I felt they had to be included in my homemade story kit. So there you go. Here I'm using mini foam mounting pads to give the layout more of a 3D effect. This is another reason why I wanted to put the page directly into my album, so that the 3D effect would still be visible, whereas if I'd put it directly into a page protector pocket, I feel that would have kind of ruined or took away from the, the kind of 3D look that I was going for. As much as I've saved money on product, on postage and packaging, on taxes, I feel I really didn't save on time and creating these um, embellishments really took a lot of brain power as well. And if I hadn't been in lockdown, I probably would never have got around to doing it. So I've got to be grateful for the little things. But I would definitely prefer to be able to just buy products. And this did take a lot of time. Um, it wasn't always exciting to put together. It's always more exciting when you come to, you know, use the finished product. To finish up here, I am finalising the design by adding little comments. Again, these are comments I printed and cut specifically for this layout. And as you can see in that little bowl there, I gave myself plenty to choose from a little variety. But I believe as soon as these are glued down, I call this layout done. A handy little recent purchase that I made was of these Sizzix tweezers, so they're little craft tools. These have been a godsend um, for lining up these quotes, for example, and other embellishments on my designs. Um, and just getting them perfectly straight and perfectly where you want them to be, they're so handy. Um, otherwise, usually I'm all fingers and thumbs and my fingers kind of get in the way a little bit. <laughs> when making spreads, so these were exceptionally handy, highly recommend. And there we have it, this layout is finished, we are done. So I'm just going to give you a wee close up here. So these were cut out on cardstock as well, so they're quite sturdy, those little circles. As were the hearts here, and the little comments. Very pleased with how this turned out. Love the colours again. It's, it is very romantic, isn't it? Love it. Well, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this spread, this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.